uh, if you bite them, if you touch them, if you break, if you press them, they will break. Uh, jadi biasa dia akan pecah kalau kita tekan dia kalau kita makannya kalau kita gigit. Yeah. But this jelly, this jelly, the bursting worm, it will burst, it will burst. Dia akan pecah dan dia akan keluarkan satu liquid. Uh, it will burst and it will produce liquid from it. It will not break, but it will uh, burst. So that's the special thing about uh, the worm that we're gonna make today. The jelly that we're gonna make today. It will burst instead of break. Uh, okay. So um, I hope you are ready with your kit in front of you. If you don't have the kit yet, it's okay. You can still buy and you can do this experiment uh, later on and you can follow us live uh, for our um, next episode. Uh, so uh, now we are going to take out our materials. We are going to bring up take out all our materials, so I hope you are ready with your box, with your science at home education kit box in front of you. Then, I want you, I want you to take out two plastic cups like this, uh, two plastic cups like this, uh, take out two plastic cups, and then uh, one small round container, uh, this container, take out them, take them out from your uh, kit. Um, if this one, um, you can find it inside the rectangle container, Got rectangle container with a flower inside, right? Ada uh, tepung kat dalam um, bekas yang petak tu kan? Uh, then you can find this small round container inside it. Uh, boleh jumpa uh, container bulat ni dalam uh, bekas yang ada tepung tu. Uh, and there are toothpick inside the container, then please take them out. Uh, there are toothpick inside the small round container, and please take them out. We're not going to use the toothpick today. Okay. After that, uh, I need you to find your uh, green food coloring. Uh, green food coloring. There are green. There are many food colorings inside your box, inside your kit. But we are going to use those for the next experiment, the next next experiment. Today we are going to use the green one. Uh, we are going to use the green food coloring. Okay. After the green food coloring, we are going to use the spoon. Uh, we also need the spoon. So please take out your spoon, your metal spoon. And last but not least, we are going to use the shrimp, uh, pichagari, the shrimp, we are going to use the shrimp. Okay, so uh, apart from this, that is not on my table now, is um, the bottle, a bottle uh, of, uh, the bottle looks like this, lah, but mine got green uh, solution inside, but yours will have um, two white uh, solution, uh, two white liquid inside. Uh, written, uh, we've labeled that, got labeled on your bottle called, say, um, calcium chloride and sodium alginate. Uh, calcium chloride and sodium alginate. Please take the two bottles and put on the table. Uh, put that in front, put in, in front of you. So the two uh, bottle, the two bottle labeled uh, sodium alginate and calcium chloride, two cups, two cups, two plastic cups here, and then one round container, one small round container, uh, one bo bottle of uh, your green food coloring and then uh, a spoon and then a shrimp uh, just that just that J these are the only things that we need shrimp spoon green food coloring round container uh, two plastic cup and the two bottles of uh, one is calcium chloride and another one is sodium alginate okay Okay, I hope you already with all your materials inside, all your materials in front of you. The first step is, the first step is, we are going to do the first step. Get ready, please. Uh, please get ready. So for the first step, we are going to pour the so calcium chloride solution, uh, pour your calcium chloride solution into this small round container. Uh, pour until almost half. Pour until almost half. And then pour inside one of your plastic cup. Pour inside one of your uh, plastic cup. Yeah. So pour until uh, almost uh, full of this. Pour until almost full of this cup. And then pour inside your uh, plastic cup. This tall plastic cup. Pour all of that inside. And then do one more time. Uh, one more time. Calcium chloride solution into this small round container until it is almost full. Uh, then put inside the same uh, tall plastic cup. Uh, put inside the same tall plastic cup. So you will get uh, one like this lah. You will get one like this or um, one cup, one plastic cup of um, calcium chloride solution. Uh, 
present correct solution. Okay, so one tall plastic cup of um, skeleton correct solution. And then one uh, and then once again pour the calcium chloride, pour the calcium chloride solution into this plastic cup, but just pour a bit on it, just pour a bit on it, just like this, a bit on it, just enough to cover all the bottom part of the cups, just a bit on it. Okay, so now you will have one uh, tall plastic cup of calcium chloride solution and one small round container of calcium chloride solution. The other cup just put aside first. The other cup with the sodium alginic solution put aside first. We are going to do the calcium chloride first. Okay, I hope you are done with that. Uh, after that, we are going to use the green food coloring. Uh, take out your green food coloring. Okay, uh, open the cap. Open the cap and then, okay, drop just two drops. Put two drops into your small round container, a small round plastic cup here. Uh, put just two drop. One, two. Uh, okay, just two drops of the um, food coloring inside here, and then you can shake a little bit. You can shake a bit. You can also use the spoon to mix that. Uh, but you can see already lah uh, that the color mix. Uh, the color mix with the calcium chloride solution. The food coloring, the green food coloring mixed with the calcium chloride solution. Uh, so there is nothing special that happened here. There are nothing special that happened here. So, okay, we are done testing the first one, which is just the calcium chloride solution with the food coloring, but nothing happened, nothing special happened. Now, now we are going to put the calcium chloride solution aside first, put the two cups. Just now, aside first, letak dekat tepi dulu yang dua tadi, calcium chloride solution tadi, letak dekat tepi dulu. Now, I want you to take the another tall plastic cup, another tall plastic cup just now, right? That you put aside, just now, take, take in front of you. Then, um, take your sodium alginate solution, uh, pour your sodium alginate solution into the tall plastic cup. Uh, like this, just until half of the plastic cup only. Uh, just pour the sodium alginate solution into the tall plastic cup like this. Like this, okay. Okay, the sodium alginate solution into the tall plastic cup. Half, half of it, half. Okay, after that, I want you to drop the um, green food coloring. Uh, drop, drop five drop, put five drops of the green food coloring into your sodium alginate solution. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. Okay, then now take your spoon, take the spoon and then mix them well. Kacau uh, sebagi, kacau benda sebagi. Kacau benda sebagi. Kacau benda sebagi. Okay, and then Okay, now, okay, we are done with this one. Okay, after that, after that, you can take your um, so calcium chloride uh, solution. Uh, the other cup, the other cup, right? Got calcium chloride solution and then you can, uh, then now, you take the shrimp, uh, take your shrimp, take your shrimp and then, uh, Suck the green solution, the so green sodium alginate solution, uh -huh. the green sodium alginate solution, and then you can pour, you know, just press them into the calcium chloride solution. Uh, press them into the calcium chloride solution. Press them into the calcium chloride solution. Okay. Now you can see the work. Uh, you can see the work. You can see or not? Uh, now you can see the work. Can you see the work? It, it will look like this lah. It will look like this. Uh, the work. Uh, just now, when we mix the, when we drop the food coloring, when we drop the food coloring, uh -huh, just into the small cup just now, just into the calcium chloride solution, you will not be able to see the work. You will just mix like that. But now, when you uh, mix the, sod the green sodium alginate solution into the calcium 
deeper, right? It will become worm. Ah, it become worms. It will solidify. It become jelly or it become solid, lah. So you can do more. You can do more. You can make more worms. Then you can use the spoon to fish out ah the the sodium alginate. Ah, you can fish out the sodium alginate. The 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 worm. You can take out your worm. You can take out your worm. And if you notice, the worm will burst. If you squeeze it, if you squeeze it, it will burst. Ah, it will burst if you squeeze it because of the sodium alginate. It's because of the sodium alginate solution. So this, the first one just now, the first one just now, we didn't put sodium alginate. Uh, we just drop the green food coloring directly from the bottle. Uh, so just the green food coloring and also the calcium chloride solution. So nothing happened. The solution will just mix. Uh, but this one, this one, we put the green food coloring into sodium alginate solution. Uh, sodium alginate solution. Then we put the green sodium alginate solution into the calcium chloride solution. Then they become warm. Uh, they turn solid. So the calcium, uh, the sodium alginate solution, they turn solid or they become jelly inside the calcium chloride solution. Uh, so I will explain more why this thing happened. Why this thing happened. Okay. Okay. After that, yeah. It, I think uh, you can also make the worm factor. Uh. Just now, now, now the worm is just small worm lah. A small worm, not interesting. You can also make it fatter. You can, what if what, uh, worm tu jadi lagi gemuk, fat and juicy worm. Uh, you can make it fat and juicy worm. Uh, bye, bye. So just now you just use the shrimp. Just use the shrimp. So the size of the worm will not be as big lah. Uh, because it's just be as, as big as the opening of the shrimp. You can now make it bigger by uh, you can take you can use your spoon use your spoon and then scoop one um, spoon of your sodium alginate solution and then pour slowly pour slowly this one you need practice lah you need to practice uh, so that you can uh, pour pour slowly into the calcium chloride solution uh, pour slowly the sodium alginate solution into the calcium Chloride solution. Uh, then you can get a bigger worm, or you it's almost round. Lah. I can make something round or become fat, uh, be fat worm, you become fat worm, or or become round, round shape. You become what round or worm shape like like uh, the video just now. Okay. So now you manage to get a fatter worm or a round worm. Uh, so like this lah, uh, you will get something like this. So your worm will get fatter. Uh, so uh, this one is not so fat. But after this, you will see the worm becomes fatter because I use the spoon to drop the sodium alginate solution into the cup. Uh, so like this one, uh, the worm is fatter, fat and juicy worm. Mm, okay. So that is for our testing, for our sodium alginate, uh, the bursting worm testing. Now we manage to see our worm burst. Uh, you can take your fat worm just now and then you can press it. And then you can see uh, the got liquid come out from the worm. Uh, so the worm didn't really break like the normal jelly, but it burst. It burst. Uh, so something burst out of it. Okay, um, so uh, I, I believe you are wondering lah, how does this happen? How does this happen? Uh, for the first one just now, you might be wondering why there are no worms. Why there are no worms. So as I said, um, we add just the food coloring, the normal food coloring into the calcium chloride solution. Uh, and there is nothing happened because we didn't use the sodium alginate solution. We didn't use the sodium alginate solution. So they are just two... Um, normal liquids mixing together so they just mix and become green solution nothing special happen but but for the second one for the second one when we pour the green sodium alginate solution into the calcium chloride solution you are managed to see the worm you are managed to see this the the sodium alginate solidified and it become uh, solid it become uh, perpejal dia jadi daripada cecair dia jadi bertukar menjadi perpejal directly it, 
transform liquid to solid uh, or jelly lah. So, um, yeah, this process, the process in which uh, the sodium alginate solution turns to um, solid and becomes jelly, it's called spherification. Uh, spherification. S P H E R I spherify P F I K A C A T I O N spherification. Uh, ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu dia sper spherifikasi. Uh, uh, so this process, the spherification process, in other word, is the process that use sodium alginate. Uh, it use the sodium alginate must use the sodium alginate as a thickening agent. And uh, it also need calcium salt, which is our calcium chloride, to assist in the gel forming process. Uh, so I will repeat once again. So spherification is a process in which um, we use sodium alginate. We, 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 use, we use sodium alginate as a thickening agent, and we also need calcium salt uh, to assist in the gel forming uh, process. Gel forming process. Yes, the spherification process lah. So, spherification is a process in which um, sodium alginate is used as thickening agent with the help of calcium chloride uh, to make it to uh, become gel, uh, to make it to become gel. So, that is the process for spherification. Uh, spherification, this process is also called uh, molecular gastronomy, molecular gastronomy, G-A-S-T-R-O-M-O-M-Y. Usually, this process is used in culinary lah, ada dalam uh, memasak. Uh, Selain so orang guna proses ni untuk memasak something, untuk uh, to cook something. I will explain uh, about this later on. I will tell you more about this, the uses of um, spherification process in making food after this. Uh, so stay tuned, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, apart from, uh, yeah, so in our spherification process, we need two main things. Uh, we need two important things, which is the first one, sodium alginate. The second one is calcium chloride. Calcium salt, lah, not only calcium chloride. Other, calcium, uh, other type of calcium can be used as well, but I will explain about that uh, later as well. So the first one, the main important ingredient is sodium alginate. Uh, but what is sodium alginate? Uh, have you heard about the word sodium alginate before? I believe not really common lah. You might not be able to, you might not uh, heard about this before. Uh, mungkin tak pernah dengar kan uh, uh, perkataan sodium alginate sebelum ni. Uh, but if you notice the alginate, the word alginate is close to something. Uh, the word alginate is close to something which is LG, LG, uh, LG. So sodium alginate. Uh, this is because uh, sodium alginate, uh -huh, uh, it's actually a food grade chemical. Uh, the sodium alginate is a food grade chemical. Means that it can be eaten lah. Uh, this type of chemical is safe to be eaten. Uh, it is safe to eat. Uh, and then, uh, this sodium alginate, sodium alginate, is actually extracted from a type of uh, algae. Uh, it is called mar marine brown algae. Uh, so, this marine brown algae, we take it and then we take the things from the algae to make the sodium alginate. Uh, so sodium alginate uh, chemical is taken out from the uh, brown uh, marine algae. So that's why the name is alginate because it's, it comes from algae algae. So yes, the sodium alginate comes from uh, algae, brown algae. Uh, and it is extracted, it is extracted from the cell wall. Uh, as you know, um, algae is uh, the ancestor of plant. Uh, so it also have cell wall because plant has cell wall as compared to us we didn't have a cell wall so sodium alginate is extracted from cell wall of uh, the brown algae cell wall of the brown algae so um, the sodium alginate here helps in making the liquid to become thicker uh, so usually the function of sodium alginate is as a thickening agent uh, it makes something to become thick uh, the, uh, sodium alginate ini selalu digunakan sebagai agent uh, uh, agent untuk me, me, mekatkan sesuatu uh, agent untuk mekatkan sesuatu so the cellular sodium alginate helps in thickening something uh, dia membantu untuk memekatkan sesuatu larutan tu uh, so sodium alginate helps in thickening some liquid uh, so in this case it, it helps to thicken this liquid 
and it helped it, it helped it to become gel. Uh, so uh, yeah, so scientifically known as to enhance viscos viscosity. The word viscosity means katakanlah uh, the uh, the thickness of a liquid viscosity. Yeah. Um, you might also heard about gelatin. Uh, maybe uh, before this, you have heard about the word gelatin. The word gelatin or starch, in which they are also used as a thickening agent or the agent to make uh, jelly. Uh, usually, uh, people use gelatin to make jelly. Uh, usually, people use gelatin to make jelly. But that one, uh, that one, uh, the jelly will break. Uh, the jelly will break, and you you does not need calcium chloride, calcium salt, uh, to make jelly from gelatin or starch. But in this case, in this case, for soya arginate, you will need calcium uh, to make it become gel, to make it become jelly. Uh, for gelatin or starch, you don't need calcium to make it become jelly or become solid. But this one, soya arginate, you need calcium to make it become jelly. Um, so yeah, I've mentioned a lot about calcium just now, about calcium just now, but I also mentioned before this that it's not only calcium chloride that we can use. There are many types of calcium actually. There are many types of calcium like uh, calcium chloride itself, calcium lactate and calcium gluconic lactate. Uh, so you can also use those calcium lactate or also calcium gluconic lactate in making, uh, yeah, in activating um, sodium arginate. Uh, so apart from calcium chloride, you can use uh, calcium lactate and calcium uh, gluconic lactate. So these two can also be used. Um, yeah. So how does um, calcium helps in uh, helping sodium arginate? Uh, so how does uh, calcium uh, helps? So uh, when the calcium, when the sodium arginate get in touch, uh, when we add the sodium arginate together with the calcium chloride, um, the uh, it will help to coagulate. Uh, it will help the calcium, the sodium arginate to become solid. Uh, Co coagulate or become solid lah, uh, and they will become thick. Uh, so the calcium help the solid arginate to become thick or solidified. Uh, so here's the reaction. Here's the reaction. So from the solid arginate NaAl, uh, the NaAlG, uh, the solid arginate, when it is plus it is uh, added with calcium chloride CaCl2, uh, it becomes CaAlG. Calcium arginate, just now it's sodium arginate, but when it is mixed with um, calcium chloride, it becomes calcium arginate. Calcium arginate, and another product is uh, calcium sodium chloride lah. Uh, that is the byproduct. Uh, so after the sodium arginate mixed with uh, calcium chloride, it becomes um, calcium arginate. Uh, calcium arginate is the solidified form of it. Uh, so it solidifies to become. Uh, calcium arginate, the solid, uh, the solid form of this uh, two uh, liquid. So it becomes calcium arginate. So the sodium arginate actually consists of a long chain of carbohydrate that is soluble in water. Means that it can mix with water like it is soluble in water. So in original plant, um, it is used to store sugar created by photosynthesis. Uh, so sodium arginate in the original plant, the brown algae, it is used to store sugar created by photosynthesis. Yeah. And then, um, when the sodium arginate dissolves in water, when the sodium arginate mixes with the water, uh, this long chain of carbohydrate, this long chain of carbohydrate inside the sodium arginate will float around, will float around like uh, freely on their own. Uh, and they don't connect to each other, they don't connect to each other. They are just sodium arginate uh, in solution, they are just uh, mixed together like that. But then, when uh, they meet with calcium salt, uh, like the calcium chloride, when we, when we put the sodium arginate with the calcium salt, uh, the structure change, uh, the structure will change, in which they become solidified, uh, they become solid, they become solid. This is because the calcium replaced the sodium. So just now I say that we added sodium arginate and calcium chloride, then it becomes Calcium arginate it becomes calcium arginate because the calcium will uh, keep the sodium away and then the so the calcium will stick together with the arginate. 
So it becomes Kelsey and Jimmy. Uh, you can imagine, you sit ne next to your friend. Your friend is um, Solid and Jimmy, and you are, um, the, your friend is the LG and you are the sodium and then but someone else come and then they kick you out they sit at your place so they be, they together with your friend that person with your friend will become calcium alginate uh, calcium alginate so the calcium will uh, replace the sodium and become um, calcium alginate in which they are in solidified form they are bonded together then they become a solid form they become solid so as I said just now, there are many types of calcium that can be used. Um, so the calcium that we use today, the calcium that we use today, which is calcium chloride, is actually they, they actually have bitter taste. They have bitter taste. Rasa dia pahit. Uh, calcium chloride yang kita guna hari ni rasa dia pahit. Uh, tapi uh, there are there are other type of calcium that is um, calcium lactic and calcium gluconate lactic, in which their taste are neutral. Uh, they don't have the bitter taste. Uh, so usually in making food, in making food, people will use um, calcium lactate or calcium uh, gluconate lactate in, because their taste is better. So our experiment today, I don't recommend you to eat. Please don't eat. Please don't eat. Even though the solid calcium is edible, boleh beli makan. Tapi uh, I don't recommend you to eat. Please jangan makan. Eh? Uh, tolong jangan makan apa yang kita buat hari ini. And the taste will not be good as well. Uh, as you know, just now I say calcium chloride has bitter taste. Calcium chloride ni rasa dia pahit uh, as, So you need to rinse it first before you eat uh, like that But don't eat, please don't eat Yeah, there is a way to remove the bitter taste of the calcium lactate In which you have to rinse the, 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 the thing that you make The jelly that you make, you have to rinse with water a few times To remove the bitter taste of the calcium chloride Okay, mm, and this process, this whole sphere repetition process is also highly affected by pH value. Uh, pH value is the number of the acidity or alkalinity of something. Uh, so this process is affected by pH value of something. So you can repeat this experiment later on. You have extra um, calcium chloride solution, you have extra sodium alginate solution with you at home. Then after this, you can try to put some acid, uh, you can put some acidic solution. So just now, I added just the food coloring into the solid alginate. But after this, you can try to put some uh, vinegar or uh, lemon juice, uh, which are acidic, into your sodium alginate. Uh, and then try to drop them into the calcium chloride and see what happens. Uh, uh, do, do you manage to get the work or no worms form? Just the normal liquid. You can test that because um, this process is highly affected by uh, pH value. Uh, so if the pH value is too acidic, uh, will the uh, reaction occur as usual or there is no reaction? Uh, no, nothing gets solidified. Uh, so you can test that later on. Okay. Okay, uh, after this. Okay, um, then now, um, yeah. So usually the pH value should be uh, above 3.6 Above 3.6 means that it should not be acidic lah for the reaction to occur But you can try with acidic solution to see what's happening What will happen mm, And I've mentioned before this um, Usually uh, the purification process, this process is used in culinary In dalam, uh, making food, in food industry, in making food uh, so, how how people use this process in making food how people use this process in making food so um, as you may, maybe you have uh, i believe like you have eaten sushi before uh, and maybe you have heard about the word caviar before uh, these are the fish roe or the fish eggs uh, so um people uh, vegetarians usually uh, don't eat uh, the the roe the fish roe uh, so uh, the the restaurant that serve uh, vegetarian food, they make the roe, uh, the substitute for the roe, uh, the the, um, the substitute for the fish egg, the roe, uh, by using this technique. Uh, they make this, they they make the fish roe by using this technique. So they can just uh, use the sodium alginate and just just drop the uh, 
uh, sodium alanine solution to become the roux. Uh, you can make uh, into a small round shape uh, which look just like the fish roux, just like the fish egg. Uh, so they use this technique in making uh, the fish roux. Uh, the orange, you can see the salmon eggs or what are the fish roux, uh, orange color, black color. Uh, so they make that uh, using uh, this technique. So that's uh, among the application. Uh, another one is, so as you know, it's not good to use plastic. Uh, so uh, to, uh, to reduce the uh, uses of plastic bottle, uh, to reduce the uses of plastic bottle for mineral water, um, there are some companies which make um, yeah, edible bottle, edible water bottle, edible water bottle. Maksudnya, uh, uh, Bottle minuman, bottle air minuman yang boleh dimakan. Uh, so now if you have this kind of bottle, you cannot eat this bottle because they are plastic. But they make the bottle from sodium arginate. Uh, they use the sodium arginate to make the bottle. So the solution inside are the water, uh, the, the mineral water. Then you can just eat everything. So nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Everything can be eaten. So that, so that's how they say that can um, reduce the uses of plastic water. Uh, so they used sodium arginate to make the, plus, uh, the uh, mineral water bottle, edible mineral water bottle. Yeah. So that's the second application, the second uses of uh, this process in our daily life. Uh, you might not uh, encounter this before, like the water bottle, the mineral, the uh, edible water bottle before, but uh, it, they are researching and, and trying to expand this so yeah, um, yeah. Apart from the water bottle and also the um, fish egg substitute, uh, people also use in making bubble tea. Ah, bubble tea. So bubble tea are very uh, popular these days. So uh, some people make um, bubble tea using uh, yeah, make the boba, the boba using this technique as well. So that's the um, uses of. Um, uh, this purification process in uh, our daily life. Uh, so basically, it's in culinary life people use in making food, the food industry. Uh, and um, one of the solution, which is calcium chloride, is actually used as a, a firming agent for fruit, salad, uh, and vegetable. Uh, so they, they added those um, the, the chemical, the calcium chloride, to make all the fruit and um, vegetable to last longer to make them to last longer okay um yeah i hope you have learned something from this experiment i hope you have learned all the um, terms that i mentioned just now i have you i hope you get the point that i am uh, trying to uh, deliver to you so um let's have a quick recap the first thing that we learned just now this whole process is called spear repetition Spearification. So spearification is a process in which we use sodium arginate, a chemical, sodium arginate, as a thickening agent with the help of calcium chloride. With the help of calcium chloride, they mix together and they become solid. Uh, they become solid. So spearification is a process in which we use um, sodium arginate as the thickening agent with the help of calcium chloride, then they mix together, they become solid or they become jelly. Uh, so without, um, they, they need each other lah. Uh, without one of them, they cannot, uh, things cannot happen. Uh, they, don't, they will not become solid. So that is purification with the help of sodium arginate and calcium chloride. Uh, and then the sodium arginate is also uh, found in uh, plant, which is the brown algae, the brown algae. And it is extracted from the cell wall. So that's how we get the sodium arginate. Usually the sodium arginate is in form, in powder form, in powder form. But we have um, uh, dilute them for you to become the sodium arginate solution. Uh, and then there are many types of calcium chloride apart from, there are many types of calcium. Apart from calcium chloride, there are calcium lactate, calcium gluconate, lactate, uh, something like that. So those can also be used uh, in this experiment. To make the spearification to occur, and the uses of spearification is usually in food industry, uh, in which people use the spearification process, the sodium arginate and the calcium, to make uh, the fish egg 
fish bowl substitute. Uh, and they also used to make um, edible water bottle in which you can all you can eat all of them. So you are not uh, wasting any plastic or what. And then another one is um, the calcium, uh, the, the scarification process is used in um, making, yeah, this last one is uh, bubble, in, in making boba tea. Uh, so that's the, the fancy uh, use of it. So they are used in those uh, fruit uh, processes. Uh, and then, yeah, calcium chloride is also used as a um, firming agent. Uh, it makes um, fruit and also vegetable to last longer and becomes uh, help us uh, fresher. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you have learned something from this episode. Um, yeah, is, is there any question? Okay. Uh, yeah, so don't forget, we are going to have our um, next experiment next week. Uh, uh, kita akan ada uh, eksperimen seterusnya minggu depan hari yang sama hari Ahad pukul 11 pagi so our next experiment uh, our next experiment is air powered car air powered car oh we are making a car but we don't have a car right inside the kit but we are making a car by using some materials uh, that we will do with you together next week uh, and this car we didn't use minyak uh, tak perlu gunakan petrol or what to make this car move because we are uh, using another type, another source of energy, uh, which is the air. Uh, so next week I will explain more about this. We will do together. We make, we will make a car. And yeah, to those who have the kit, uh, please take care of the materials inside your kit. Um, all these cups, all you can wash, you can rinse, and then we will use again in the next next experiment. And to those who uh, don't have uh, the kit yet, uh, you don't have the kit yet, you can get one for yourself or your siblings. Uh, you can get uh, from our uh, email, you can email to us, education at tedopinan.org. Education at tedopinan.org. Uh, you can email to us, uh, you can tell us uh, that you want the um, science at home education kit, uh, science at home education kit with eight experiments inside. So you can uh, email to us to let us know that you want the kit. Then we will send the kit right to your doorstep. Okay, um, hmm. let's see. We've got any question? Uh, looks like there are no questions from y'all. I hope you can follow the experiment step by step. I hope you can understand what I have uh, uh, mentioned, what I have explained to you. Yeah, so um, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching this episode. You can also share this episode with your friends. Um, yeah, like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon. So yeah, um, thank you for those participants from the TPSD program, Program Penggalakan Science and Technology, uh, sponsored by Majlis Pendidikan Kajian Negeri Pelatina. Uh, so see you next week, guys. See you next week uh, with our next experiment at same time, same, same day, 11 a.m. Sunday next week. So stay tuned. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.